wasn't recording that whole thing. I'm so excited to get my hair cut. Finally, it's been over a year since I got like a full haircut, but like six months since I got like a trim, but this time I'm doing a full haircut of some sort. I haven't decided just yet how much I'm gonna be cutting. My hair is very, very long. My cousin Ange from Florida is also here. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know who she is. Time to do some makeup and then we'll be on our way. I'm gonna start with the Road Glazing Milk. If you guys watched Vlogmas, wait a second, happy 2024. This is my first video of the new year and I have not filmed anything yet. I did Vlogmas. If you guys have not watched those or didn't finish watching them, be sure to go and binge because I filmed and uploaded 20 videos and vlogs in a row every day of December and I had so much fun. I filmed so many very fun videos over there. I literally have not done my makeup since I think Christmas. Those Westland Atelier drops just give like the most perfect bronzed and glowy look. They're definitely one of my favorite bronzing drops that I have ever tried. My nails look really good. Oh my God, I love that. I'm gonna stop there and finish the rest in the car because we need to head out. But I did what I could while I'm home. Bagels just arrived and we're gonna eat them in the car on the way there. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing a corset from Danielle Guizio. I love these corsets. I have them in like 10 different colors and every time I go to Becker, I wear one. I feel like I just have to. It's been like a tradition at this point. I love it. I have yet to wear the pink one to Becker's but I have worn this corset like numerous times. And Andrew's wearing red, I'm wearing pink for a little Valentine's Day moment. That's kind of the vibe and why I'm wearing the pink one today. I was wearing a different shirt like before when I was doing my makeup, but I didn't really like how the straps looked. And I feel like this is a little simpler for the haircut and that's kind of what the main focus is of today. I'm wearing black jeans, Levi's from Amazon, and these Adidas sneakers. I have a massive bag packed with my makeup, Angie's makeup, camera batteries and chargers, makeup brushes, and all the goods to touch up our makeup if we need to, and also have plenty of camera equipment and accessories like lighting for all the content we're about to film. So, what's new today? I think what I want to do mm -hmm. is cut a little bit off the ends that much. Okay. Face framing, right? We always do that. Yeah. And then just like shorten them like that. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know, what do you think? Shorter face frame. You want to go with a longer length version. Right. Okay. So, I know you like to get a ponytail, your mm -hmm. cow, you know, so you want to put keep the length longer. Right. So, okay, we started the length to right here, the shorter length, uh -huh. to the bottom, to the layers. Right. And we connect the layers in the back. Mm -hmm. And you don't like to have like the V, you like to have like a straight, but we can do that. We want to do like kind of you. Right. We agree with that, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. mm, so cute, look at you both. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
brown brushes. We're gonna wait a little while and then we're gonna unravel them and see the final result. Angie is right over there and my mom is over there. They both just got cuts and blowouts as well. They look amazing and we're gonna show you the final result once my hair is all unraveled. Let me see, let me see. Oh my God, you look so good. Turn around, let me see the back. Hey, happy vlog. You look so good. I know. I can't even with you. <laughs> I love your hair. Thank you. Everybody got bangs but me, it seems. I don't know if I can pull that off. Of course you could. I need to learn how to do a blowout first. Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. She needed to clear her head. And for those three hours she spent getting ready, she only thought about one thing. There was also something refreshing about the amount of time she was putting into herself. I need to slick back my hair for my day because I'm gonna go to my dad's house and film a little get ready with me. I recently got a haircut at Becker Shakaisa salon. This is not only the first time slicking back my hair since that appointment, but it's the first time slicking back my hair in 2024 which is crazy it's the 23rd of the month and i can't remember the last time that i have gone this long without slicking my hair i've been wanting to try this day styling cream for months and i finally ordered it on amazon so let's see what she's all about a lot of people use this for slicking back hair it smells so good it literally smells like like sour patch kids or something and I don't know if that's too much. I feel like it's slicked back the flyaways, the perfect amount. It really smells so good. I'm using the new MEJ brush that I got for Christmas. And just like that, my slick back is all complete. It looks so good. And I literally feel like myself again. Like I said, I have not had a slick back in over two and a half weeks. And I really did miss her so much. I really do want to learn how to give myself a blowout at home and also curl my hair. I want to start wearing my hair down a little bit more in the new year just because I really love how it looks down but also it can't be good to have my hair slicked back so tight and restricted every single day nor is it good to blow it out every day but even not styling it i want to just wear my hair down and natural a little bit more and i feel like going the past 23 days without a slick back was just a test to me that i can do it that's my goal but for times like today when i want to film a get ready with me and those style of videos i feel like i need my hair slicked back and away from my face just so the focal point of the makeup look is my face and not my hair that's why I did a slick back for today, but let's pack up my makeup bag and get everything ready. I wanna bring a robe and I wanna make sure I have all of my camera stuff, my lights and tripod and all that good stuff. So here's all my makeup that I recently traveled with this past weekend to Boston. I didn't unpack anything, but this is everything I used to achieve the looks that I did every night while I was there. And I don't know the look I'm going for as of yet, but I do have all of the makeup in my vanity draw that I can pull from and add to this bag to bring with me. But I'm thinking since I got a lot of requests for the makeup look that I did while I was in Boston, I might just film that for you guys and just bring everything that's already packed away. And then I use these two for my makeup brushes, mainly all in here and then whatever doesn't fit will go in this denim bag from Brandy. <laughs> PR 
OPR that I received. I'm not going to open it all just yet because I do have limited daylight and I want to film the get ready with me slash this road unboxing. So I'm going to take this with me to the bathroom and set up for this get ready with me. I'm now all set up in the bathroom. I want to unbox this package that arrived a few days ago. I get my packages sent to my dad's house. So whenever I'm here, it's like an amazing time because I get to unpackage all of the goodness that has arrived. I didn't look at it yet. Oh my goodness gracious right now. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Here's a close up. So these are all hand beaded and placed on. This is absolutely perfection and the intricacy and detail in this is absolutely amazing. Opening that just literally made my day. I'm so happy that I finally received it and I cannot wait to pick a wall to put her on and display it either in my room or most likely at the EP office because that would just make more sense but yeah so now it's time to do this get ready with me i'm going to suction my phone to the mirror right in front of me and start doing my makeup i will be focusing on tiktok for this one i just finished this makeup look i ended up filming a full talking tutorial for tiktok so i want to input it here right now to share with you guys the step-by-step -step routine and how i achieved this look so roll those clips starting off with the road glazing milk of course lather this on going in with the westman atelier sole a drops i'm going to go in with two concealers the hourglass vanish in the shade fawn in these spots and then the maybelline eraser i'm going in with a little bit of the charlotte tilbury and i'm using this as a liquid contour and then i'm gonna go in with a cream and i kind of just tap it into my cheekbone for nose contour i'm taking the patrick ta brush and the patrick ta duo and using the cream one sculpting my nose with two lines down the sides now using the refi duo brush and blending out the concealer and i kind of just blend upward to give myself that base lift effect reverse contour down the side of my nose using the concealer as well to get rid of this harsh line i buff everything together like so now going in with some of the Say Sun Melt in the shade Medium Bronze. I put quite a bit on my eyelids as well. I feel like that really helps to complete the base look. Now going in with some cream blush from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Pink Me Up. And I like to focus my blush from the arch of my eyebrow to the top of my temple. I'm now setting with the Huda Beauty Powder in the shade Cherry Blossom. I really focus on the under eyes, reverse contouring down the sides of my nose, also doing a baby exclamation point, my chin as well as my forehead. I'm going to curl my lashes while this powder sits on and bakes a little bit. I literally don't know how to do eyeshadow, so I just mix a whole bunch of different colors. The base of my makeup looks so good. Like, are you guys seeing this? This eyeshadow look is definitely more for a night out, which is why I wore it every night while I was in Boston. You guys absolutely loved the way that my makeup turned out, so much so that I'm filming this step-by-step -step tutorial. Going in with my tried and true L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've been applying mascara like this as well, but I feel like it really helps to give a cat eye effect. Because then when you let go, your eyelashes are fanned out that way instead of up and out like that. Like, what? I literally love that. It is now time to line my lips and complete this makeup look. I just finished lining the outside of my lips with the Sephora Collection liner in the shade Hot Sauce. I'm next going in with the Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Cinnamon. And then going in with a bit of concealer and lightening the center. 
so I feel like this is definitely a new tutorial and a new way of doing my makeup. Everybody has been loving it, including myself, so I'm super glad that I was able to share a tutorial with you guys on how to achieve this look. So now it's time to film for the road video. The enzyme refresh that I just got sent in PR is also meant to be used to remove all makeup. So the main reason why I decided to film this tutorial today was because I needed makeup on my face to now take off with the Rode Pineapple Cleanser. This is not sponsored whatsoever, but I have been seeing so many videos based around this product that I have really been wanting to try it for myself. And after this whole weekend being in Boston and wearing makeup every single day for four days straight, taking off makeup became so unenjoyable and I didn't have my cellar water with me, which is what I'm used to using. And Erin had a makeup remover balm from the brand Pharmacy that I was using every night. And it was really nice, but I don't know if I'm absolutely in love with it enough to actually go and get it for myself. So that's why I'm mainly excited to try this pineapple cleanser because if I do love it, then I feel like that will be my go-to every time I need to take off my makeup. So here is the Road PR that I just opened. This is a 2024 Road calendar. It is absolutely beautiful. That right there is the pineapple refresh bottle. Here is the actual product. This is a giant bath bomb. And once I dissolve this and put it in the bathtub, inside will be the cleanser. So that means that I need to fill up this tub right now and experiment and actually dissolve that bath bomb to then get the product. I haven't even had this look on for 20 minutes and I'm already about to take it off. I'm not too happy about it, but it will be for a good purpose. So let's fill up this tub and get right into the removal of this makeup. And just like that, my makeup is all off. It took me one wash with the pineapple cleanser. I'm so impressed with this product and I am so excited to implement it into my routine from now on. And I'll insert the video here that I filmed on my phone using the cleanser so you guys can see what I've been up to. I just received this huge PR package from Rode and I think I know what's inside. I'm so excited to open it. So let's do it right here, right now, together. No. This is one of the coolest PR packages I have ever received. This is a giant bath bomb and inside of this is the pineapple enzyme refresh cleanser. This is literally the coolest thing ever and I'm so excited right now. I feel like a kid in a candy store. So let's go. This color warming the product up in my hands of course and going right in oh yes this cleanser really just works all of the makeup right off the skin I genuinely couldn't name one other cleanser that gives me this look after just one wash. This is the only one. I will be implementing this into my routine and will be using this every single time I need to take off my makeup. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? My skin is glowing, radiating, and to pair with it, I'm going to go in with the Rode Glazing Milk. And of course, some of the raspberry jelly lip tint. Enough said, everybody needs this product. <laughs> 